It's Thanksgiving in paradise, but the only gatherings you'll find here are groups of firefighters sitting around plastic tables they've set up under one of the few structures still left standing. If they're eating turkey, they most likely got it from a deli outside of town, but most have just settled for brown bag lunches and warm coffee. They have little time to eat. There's still hundreds of homes that need to be checked. We're literally going home to home, foundation to foundation, to try and, and effect recovery to pro provide closure for those uh, lost in the fire. Graf is a strike team leader from SAC Metro Fire. He and his crew arrived in Paradise two weeks ago to fight the fire. Now they have a new mission. Yeah, our strike team is currently assigned to the Paradise Branch, which is a recovery, a search and recovery operation. So we're working 12-hour shifts, and we are working with the forensics team and anth anthro teams to recover uh, what remains we can uh, within the foundations of the home. I spotted Graf's team on my drive through Paradise. Despite the holiday and the inclement weather, they were searching tirelessly in a neighborhood off Pence Road, alongside Oakland, California FEMA Task Force 4. By us being here and working throughout the holiday, it shows that we have a significant amount of love and dedication to this community and that our, our efforts are to help them in this recovery process. On a day many were spending in the comfort of their own home, these first responders were combing through what was left in paradise, searching for the campfire dead and trying to bring closure to thousands of people who have been displaced. Our family as well um, carries that burden, so they know our hearts, desire and our passion to assist the community in the time of need. And so regardless of the day, regardless of the time of the year, regardless of the hour, if you call on a first responder in your time of need, we're gonna be here to support you because that's our job and that's our commitment. Our focus is really on those that are affected by this fire. There's many people that had a great deal of loss of life on this fire. We're keeping those people uh, on, on the front front side of all of our thoughts and our prayers go out to all those people and uh, that's helping us to carry through with our mission.